This is the story of an exotic that only one person in the entire world had access to. This is the story of a weapon that would be a combination of those to come and one with a story as unique as the exotic itself. This is a story that is wholesome, inspirational, and jives well with what Destiny is all about. Community. This is the story of the fate of all fools. Some footage in this video is from players around the community. Their links will be in the description of this video as well as the music too. This video is a great story and one that I think a lot of us can get behind. Much like the fight against what is going on in the world right now, I can't say the word for fear of... Yeah, you know, but Bungie has started a fundraiser to show support for those in need. So if you want to help, a $20 donation or higher will actually reward you with this really cool looking emblem. And if you can't donate, don't worry, I'm giving one away. You can enter the giveaway by clicking the link at the top of the description, or if you'd like to support the fundraiser itself, that link will be at the top of the description as well. This isn't sponsored in any way, I just wanted to bring more support to those who are in need, and it fits the theme of this episode pretty dang nicely. Enjoy. Year 1 of Destiny 1. Destiny really didn't have an identity yet. Was this going to be a Call of Duty Halo-like shooter? Was Bungie just going to make a copy of Borderlands 2 but with Call of Duty multiplayer? Or was Bungie going to create a universe that constantly made us wonder what was going on? A world that had no time to explain why it had no time to explain. A world that was ripe with life, especially in the year of 2014 for console shooters. One thing definitely stood out in all of this, however. The pure sense of community. Oh, that was so close. Just shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, just shoot it. Don't run away, you we got him, we got him, we got it, we got it! Go, go, go! Oversoul, 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 oversoul. Yes! Yes! Oh! Oh, God. The Destiny community is one that has gone on to win awards for best community, and right now, while there are fights among what the game should be, and even when I criticize the game, we all know the players that play it Play it for the time with friends. The first test of this community's sense of coming together was with the Vault of Glass, a raid that we pretty much have fully covered, but one that required players to tackle challenges they had never seen before and probably weren't going to be prepared for. The challenge and wonder combined with the downtime to recollect in between fights already allowed for the sense of community to shine through, to help each other grab the best loot in the game knowing that it wasn't going to be easy at all. Speaking of the loot from the game, one thing that was at the forefront and very much was the endgame collector grind was the exotics. Exotics were a complete mystery. Nobody knew how many there were. No database tracking API to tell the players what was to come. Just the pure rush at spotting one out in the wild, seeing someone destroy a wave of enemies with one, defending you with another. It was like nothing myself and millions of others had ever experienced. Xur was there to assist in some way, but man, even getting the currency to buy one from Xur took a long time to grind, but it felt really good shooting that red death. Just, uh, yeah, just, just had to upgrade it first. Yeah, exotics were a big deal back then, and still are. But the mystery of what else was out there combined with the challenge to even obtain one was unlike any other feeling. For one Guardian, however, the challenges affected his life way outside of the game. The day was November 4th, 2014. A pretty typical Tuesday reset with Queen's Wrath just wrapping up and the Iron Banner coming around yet again. This was about to be another grindy week. If you needed to check what was new at every reset, the best place to check was the subreddit Destiny the Game. Say what you want about the subreddit today, but on that day, a post by user BKBunny87 went out to the community. I will paraphrase a shortened version of the full post, but it reads as follows. Quote, my hunter husband has been through a lot. He has had seven brain surgeries in the last 11 months, three of which involved actively removing sections of his brain. 
The fifth was about three months ago, and that time they took quite a lot. We knew in advance his memory would be heavily affected, and it has been. For a while he didn't know me, and he only sometimes knew who he was. Right as he was starting to have things back together, he developed an infection. I spent the first week of Queenswrath playing on a Vita in the hospital room, while he had two more surgeries to remove infected matter and give him a titanium plate. A goodly sized piece of his skull was too infected to try and save. No worries there, he thinks having a titanium plate is awesome. Anyway, what does this have to do with Destiny? He wanted to play it. He agonized more over his surgery day interfering with the release than having to have surgery in the first place. He wanted it badly enough that two weeks ago, he described the game in detail to his wonderful neurologist. So Bunny's husband, Eric, had been through it all. I mean hell, seven brain surgeries is beyond tough, and the fact that Destiny was the game that he wanted to play more than any other was really special. So special in fact that Eric even tried to do a vault of glass run while recovering, but was struggling to make it through. The post blew up on the subreddit and led to hundreds, thousands reaching out to lend help to Eric on conquering the vault of glass. The Destiny community came together to try to help Eric out. The post would eventually make it to the hands of Deej, Bungie's community manager and lord of all warlock mains. Deej along with the rest of the team at Bungie would make a response to all this and do something we have never seen before and have never seen after this. A day after the original post was made, something amazing happened. Hello and welcome to another Planet of Destiny video. Today we'll be showing you some footage of the exotic weapon. Everyone, my name is Mr. Fruit and welcome back to Destiny. In today's video, ooh, do I have a treat for you. These without question are my favorite stories to be able to talk about because the, the, these are those rare circumstances where you can actually admit this kind of restores my faith into humanity. Bungie sent Eric an exotic weapon, the one of a kind. Fate of all fools. Bunny made a follow-up post that morning of November 5th saying, quote, Yesterday I had a post talking about my husband and his doctor recommending Destiny to serve as a form of physical therapy for him following several brain surgeries. This community was amazing, and raid groups are being organized for him out of all the people who offered to help. But just as amazing, Deej contacted me and has sent my husband a care package from Bungie that is on the way. Then this morning, a message from Deej told us to have my husband check with Tess, the postmaster in the tower. Lots of screaming ensued. He has been sent the exotic gun, Fate of All Fools, a solar primary that looks like it will be available in future content. Vision of Confluence had always been my husband's dream weapon, as Scout Rifle is his favorite type of weapon, and he wanted that solar damage. A more perfect weapon could not have been chosen. I'm so jealous, but mostly so damn happy for him. As for him, well, you can imagine. Thank you guys for being such a caring community. Thank you Deej and the crew at Bungie. You've made him ecstatic. The gun was a solar scout rifle that looked very similar to the no time to explain rare weapon at the end of the campaign, but it had two intrinsic perks to it. Number one. This weapon was a solar exotic primary. Only the Vex Mythoclass had this at this point. Number two, this weapon had the perk Fate of All Fools, where chain body shots would do more damage for a headshot to the target. Description of the weapon simply read, the wise man knows his fate, the fool merely finds it. Bunny later stated that the devs had plans to add this weapon as future content, and in a way, yeah, they did, but also, they did not. Let me explain. So, the weapon looked like a scout rifle version of the No Time to Explain from the base game campaign, but the perk was exotic for sure. The weapon would evolve in two different ways. The first was that the weapon's look was expanded upon in the Vault of Glass with the exotic No Time to Explain, a weapon with a story of its own that we'll be covering in the future, and the other way it was evolved was in the form of the exotic scout rifle that we now know as the Jade Rabbit. 
an exotic scout rifle with the same archetype as the Fate of All Fools that released at the start of the Taken King, and was exclusive to PS4, the system that, yes, Eric and Bunny played on until 2017 where Xbox players could have it, and when Destiny 2 had already been launched. The intrinsic perk? Chain body shots will increase headshot damage. The name? The fate of all fools. To those in the Destiny community and those at Bungie, Eric's story would never be forgotten, and through this perk, the story of the weapon, his weapon, would live on forever. Recently, a redditor whose name I could not find made a post asking for an update on Eric. Bunny responded by saying, quote, Eric is doing well. He has trouble speaking still and will for life, but he is healthy and happy. We still like to relive how crazy it was that we got the fate of all fools and the outpouring of support that came with it. It was wild and absolutely amazing. The fate of all fools. A story that is as compassionate as it is victorious. Eric was able to overcome 7 brain surgeries in 11 months with the help of someone who loved and took care of him. A community that embraced him, and a company that went out of their way to give him something to never forget. This is what Destiny is all about, and I want to say that if this video somehow or some way makes it to Eric and Bunny, thank you for sharing your story. The community will never forget, and I hope you two are doing very very well. Anyways. Thank you for your time watching the video, and until the next one, I will see you later. Enjoy the bloopers, everyone. Mmm. Yay! Yay! He's dead! No! Mythic Blast! No! Oh my god, it happened! Now you have <laughs> now you have my controller that I play with all the time. And that's real. And then you get to level seven. Monte Carlo? You got a Monte Carlo? You have like eight Monte Carlos. I'll take a Monte Carlo. You got Plan C? Ah!